When are interest rates finally going to come down? If you've been asking yourself the question, when are interest rates coming down? Congratulations, cause you clicked on the right video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Hans with the Gunderman Group here in the East Bay. And I'm gonna try to tackle one of the most challenging questions that's out there in the market. When are interest rates coming down and why are they so high still? So quick disclaimer, I am not a lender. I don't hold a loan license. I'm not quoting rates here, but I'm trying to give you some understanding of this business, why the rates are the way that they are and give you some context of some things you can do to hopefully become successful in your real estate journey. If you get some value out of this, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel leave me a comment down below. If you've got questions, I'm happy to reach out to you and try to be your real estate advisor on these things or connect you with the right person who could help. So as of the recording of this video in March, here's what I have for you. Looking at a jumbo loan purchase, let's call it purchase price somewhere in the ballpark of about a million and a half. That's when you get into that jumbo loan, good credit score, solid down payment, good reserves, all that stuff. Let's talk about where the rates are at right now. We are ticking below 7% interest, although just barely. And it depends on the lender, it depends on your credit, it depends on your down payment. All of that is unique to you, but a lot of the quotes you're gonna see out there are in the sixes now. But many of them have points associated with them. If you don't understand a point, point is 1% of the loan value that you pay as a fee at the closing table to the lender or to the bank, depending on where the loan's coming from. If you've gotten a rate quote recently, throw it down in the comments and say what you were quoted. Make sure you throw in if there was a point on that quote or not, because that's a huge factor. The lenders all have these pricing sheets where cash up front buys down a lower rate because when a bank looks at the value of a loan and the profit of a loan, it doesn't become profitable for a serious amount of time. On average, for jumbo products in particular, and a lot of the loans that are being done here in Alameda County are jumbo, it costs roughly $10,500 between commissions and processing fees and paperwork and origination and all the overhead that goes into lending and loan origination. That is what the number looks like. And because the lender goes negative on day zero of that loan, they obviously have to make that up over some period of time. Now, now, they often don't recapture that initial 10,500 for somewhere between six and nine months. So there's this concept that you don't often hear about in lending called EPO or early payoff. Basically what happens if a loan refinances early before they recoup all their costs, it, they classify it as an EPO or early payoff. Now that's a bad thing for the lender or for the bank because once they've incurred all that cost, they've paid the commission to their salespeople, they've paid the salary to the processors and all the different sources, that loan gets paid off and they don't get to recapture the profit. Usually it pays off when someone does a refinance, but sometimes people will just pay the loan off early. That's more rare, usually it's a refinance. All the lenders out there are assuming that rates are gonna start going down at some point this year. Some people think it's in a month or two, some people think it's Q3 or Q4, but generally the industry has priced in and has a belief that rates are coming down sometime later this year. Now, if lenders make a loan to you sometime in Q1 at around 7%, and then in six months, rates are at six and a half or closer to 6%, there's a good chance you're gonna to wanna to refinance that rate, right? But if you do it too soon, at least according to their numbers, they have the chance to lose money. And so that's why they price these numbers a little bit higher or take a point up front and make the loan a little more expensive. Because if in the future that loan pays off and all these loans pay off in mass, they have a huge loss on their books and they lose money and might end up going out of business. So you have to understand that the Fed rate isn't the only thing that impacts you know, these loans, uh, as I'm sure you've heard all over the internet. What these lenders are doing is basically making a business decision. If we're gonna spend $10,500 originating a, a loan like this, we need to be able to make a reasonable profit. And that's where that loan point comes in, 
or that's where they need to be fairly certain that you're gonna keep the loan, pay the interest over some period of time so they can make some level of profit before the loan goes away, right? So without getting too much farther into the weeds, that's why loans are priced the way that they are. They're basically trying to bake in this theory, this idea, this assumption that in, call it three to nine months, interest rates are gonna come down, which is a good thing, long run, right? But for today's market, for transacting right now, it's making things more expensive. It's making things harder to attain. It's keeping those payments a little higher or the closing costs a little higher or what have you. And it's gumming up this market that we have. And I just did a video recently about inventory. I've got it linked right up here. So you can check that one out. But in general, what's happening is they're trying to price in profit for the future, assuming that a lot of these loans are gonna refinance sometime in the not so distant future when rates come down. So good long-term perspective, not so good short-term. So I hope you got some value out of that. If you did, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel because we're gonna continue to put out content just like this and you're not gonna wanna miss it. Thanks for tuning in. This is Hans with the Gunnerman Group signing off for now. See you on the next one.